Hello and welcome to CAD CAM Exposure. I'll be taking you through this tutorial on a CAD program known as Onshape. And what you can do is just follow along and create this little logo design that I've created for you. And um, I'm going to go over it step by step and then we will be 3D printing these out and you'll actually, if you create this, you can actually get um, a 3D printed version of it before you leave to go to the next shop. So let's get started here. Um, and we're just going to go over the basics of the program. And uh, so this over here on the right is your view cube. So if you click on it, you can actually, you can move it around and um, you can also maneuver using the right the, the uh, scroll button, the middle scroll button on your mouse. And if you hold that down and then move move in the area, you can also move it um, move that way too. So um, I'm actually gonna hide this. Um, actually, I'll just get rid of it, and then I'll create another one. So we can start fresh here. Alright. So, um, planes should be up. So how, how this program works is basically you choose a plane to draw on. So you can kind of imagine it like being a piece of paper or something. And then you from that plane, from that sketch, you then put a feature on it to make it 3D. So the feature we're going to be using is the extrude feature, which is up here. But we'll get into that after we create our first letter. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on sketch and then it prompts you to select a plane. So that's again, like that's like your piece of paper that you're going to select to draw on. So I'm going to select the front plane and notice how a sketch window opens up on that plane. So I want to be looking right at it. So I'm going to click on this view cube right here where it says front and now it zooms me into being like straight down on that sketch and now I'm going to begin um, making the C and I made the C using the center point circle so click on that center point circle and then um, you can put it out here somewhere we're not going to um, we're not going to make everything go. We're not going to go crazy on dimensioning this. Um, it, it'll be it'll be estimates. It'll be like a rough sort of sketch that we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is just click for the center point, and then you don't have to hold down the the click. Just click it once, and then you can bring it out. If you make a mistake, just hit Escape, which is the top left key. And that'll and that'll get you out of um, out of that circle, or if you want to get out of the sketch completely, you can just hit that red X, and then it'll cancel it out. So we want to be in a sketch though, and then I'm going to click on that center point circle, click over here somewhere, and um, about like that is going to be good. And then I'm actually going to click again so in the center of the circle again so go in and when that orange square goes around it that's what you want and then bring that up um, that looks good again we're not we're not getting things perfect so don't worry if you don't, if it's not 2.167 don't worry about that now I'm going to go into my line tool which is this the line tool and then from I'm going to go from the center again 
except I'm not going to click. I'm just going to hover over it. And then as soon as I get to that first circle, that's what I'm going to click. And then I'm going to click again on the outside circle. And to stop the line function, I'm just going to hit that escape key again, which is the top left. And now I'm going to create another line on the bottom from there to there and then escape again. So now I want to use the trim function, which is the scissors up here. And um, or notice if you hover over it, there's an M. That's that's the the uh, fast key or hot key for it. So I can actually just click on M and notice how it toggles on to that uh, trimming feature. If I hit M again, it toggles it off. And same thing with circle. So circle has one too, and that's C. So C toggles the circle on. C. It's it's once you get to learn the program, these hotkeys come in handy. So I'm going to hit M for the trim, and then I'm just going to click on these two circles on the outside like that. Um, and now I have my C. So but right now, this is only a two-dimensional sketch, so I need to make it 3D. So I'm going to hit Extrude. And then if I hit the, the green check mark, it is extruded. I'm going to make that smaller, though. So to go back into something that you've already created, you're going to go and double click over here. This is like a history of what you've created. So I'm going to double click on that extrude and that gets me back into that um, feature. So I can actually type in a depth that I want and the depth I want is going to be one eighth. So one divided by eight, that's one eighth of an inch. And then check that off. And now if I look it's a lot thinner right it, it got extruded a lot thinner so that part is good um, I'm gonna create another um, another letter so this is gonna be a so I'm gonna have CAD and then cam like like how it was in the beginning so I'm gonna click on this sketch click on the front plane again and now I'm going to click on a line. And since, I, since I'm 3D printing this, I want them all connected. So to do that, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to kind of overlap the A with the C. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just... Um, I'm just doing it sort of like a rough approximation. That looks good. Go in like that. Go in like that. Um, and if you sometimes it it gets like stuck on things so hit escape and you can kind of like you can kind of back out again um, so I'm going to come down here and then get that about so over here so you can actually use other points to kind of line you up too so what I did is I came over to that point and then that dotted line kind of lines you up and then close it off. And then I'm actually going to put a little circle in the middle here. Um, and again, I'm using that dotted line to sort of guide me. And now I'm going to extrude and 
for this, I'm going to click on new. So click on new. So that gives me, notice how another part drops down. So the C and the A, they're, they're separate at this point. Um, I don't have to do that. I could just add it. So um, I'm actually going to stick with add. And then I'm going to put 3 16 3 divided by 16. Because it is going to be just one piece that we're going to 3D print. And then if I want to take a look, side. All right, so far so good. And now I'm going to start the D. So I'm going to click on sketch again. I'm going to click on my front plane. And for the D, I'm just going to use... Um, I'm just going to use a half circle and um, start it somewhere around here. So again, I want that overlapping. I'm going to come to the line tool. I'm going to go up top here, all the way down. Hit escape. And then the scissor tool. And check to see how that looks. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So, um, I'm actually going to offset, use the offset tool for this. And that's right here, or O is the hotkey for that. And what that does is kind of gives me a perimeter. But I'm going to go on the inside. And I'm going to click that line. And now I have... Um, now I have an offset and then you just click on the outside click again or hit enter and then it'll it'll accept that now I'm going to hit my extrude and this is going to be uh, 1 8 again So now I have the CAD portion and I'm going to create the CAM portion. So sketch, click on that front plane, click on um, the circle again, <clears throat> and I don't have to get it perfect. But I can I can go over here. That looks pretty good. I'm do another one. Looks good. And line it up. So. Um, Again, I'm going to use the line tool, go from here to here, escape, and then L is the hotkey, so line tool L. And I'm going to come down here, go there to there, escape, and then M for trim. And I'm just going to click on those two. Now I'll extrude this out. And this one's going to be 3 16 So I'm kind of just going back and forth to give it that variation between 3 16 and, um, and 1 8 Although I don't really, I don't know if I like that. 
Um, because the, the D is kind of getting lost. So what I'm going to do is double click on that extrude. And instead of, instead of 3 sixteenths, I'm going to actually do 1 sixteenth. There. Um, I think that looks a little bit better. So um, now I'm going to create the A again. So sketch, front plane, click on the front plane. Now I'm going to create another A. Um, and it'll be similar to that A. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close. there that's what's fun about 3d printing is the 3d printer will make everything perfect but you don't really have to worry about that when you're creating a design or something you can kind of just do what looks good I'll make this one a little smaller and extrude it and then this one's going to be, we can do, uh, we'll do 3 sixteenths for this one. Three sixteenths. And then I'm going to, the M will, will sneak over like that. Sketch front plane, line tool. Have it so it overlaps a little bit. Again, we're just creating the M. And then I kind of can line it up like that. Like that. that like that and that looks pretty good um so if you want to like move around the geometry you can click escape to get out of the line and you can actually click and drag things um over if you want to change it up at all so, um, extend it out a little bit and now hit the extrude and then this one's going to be one eighth of an inch and check it off. So, um, there you have it. You got your CAD cam, um, logo all set up. So once you have, uh, completed this, um, I'll give you I'll give you the 3d printed logo that you can have so feel free to ask me questions um, and play this back as many times as you need to take your time and good luck